Transition metals are a special block of metals which are found in the middle of the periodic table. The word transition means change. This means that they can change their valency. That's the number of bonds that that element makes with other atoms. The way that we represent that valency for the transition metals is using Roman numerals. I for 1, II for 2, III for 3 and so forth. I'm going to go through three different worked examples showing you how to write the chemical and ionic formula for transition metal compounds. This first example wants us to write the chemical and ionic formula for zinc II nitrides. It ends in ide, the D stands for double, which means we're going to be just working with two different elements which can be found on page six of your data booklet. So we start off with our SBSDF. The chemical symbol for zinc is Zn, the valence is 2, and that is given in the name of the formula using the Roman numerals. The chemical symbol for nitrogen is N, it's found in group 5, valency 3. Swap the valences over. Highest number both can be divided by to keep it a whole number is 1. So the chemical formula is Zn, how many of those have we got? Three, so we write a small three after the chemical symbol. Chemical symbol for nitrogen is N. How many of those have we got? We've got two. So the chemical formula is Zn3N2. The first couple of steps for the ionic formula are the same. Symbol Zn, valence two. Symbol for nitrogen, N, valence three. Metals always lose electrons to form positive ions and non-metals always gain electrons to form negative ions. Remember, we need to make a sandwich and wrap it up. Two times plus gives us two positives, and we need to put brackets around that. Three times negative is three negative, and pop brackets around that. Swap the valences over. Highest number that can be divided by is one. So this time we need to write exactly the way that we've written the formula at the top for the symbols. Bracket Zn2 plus close bracket and put the 3 outside of the bracket. Bracket N3 minus close bracket with a little 2 outside of the bracket. This next example is a little bit tricky. We want to write the chemical and ionic formula for iron I nitrate. It ends in 8, the T stands for triple, and therefore we're going to have to use page 8 of our data booklet. We start off with our SVSDF. The chemical symbol for iron is Fe, the valence is 1, and that's given by the Roman numeral I. We use page 8 and look up nitrates. The chemical symbols are NO3, but we need to remember to keep a bracket around that. The valence is 1. We swap the valences over. Highest number both can be divided by to keep it a whole number is 1. Therefore, the chemical formula is Fe bracket NO3 close bracket. Remember, we don't ever write ones in the formula. Because we've only got one of our nitrate ions, we can remove the brackets. For the ionic formula, we've got the first couple of same steps. Symbol Fe, valency 1. Symbol for nitrate, NO3, valency 1. Metals always lose electrons to form positive ions and non-metals form negative ions. 1 times positive is positive. We must keep it in a bracket. 1 times negative is negative. We must keep it in a bracket. We swap the valences over. Highest number that can be divided by is 1. So the ionic formula is bracket Fe positive close bracket bracket NO3 minus close bracket. At this stage here, because we have no number directly after the brackets, we can get rid of those. This last worked example wants us to write the chemical and ionic formula for scandium IV carbonate. It ends in 8, so we're going to have to use page 8 of our data booklet. We start off with our SVSDF. The chemical symbol for scandium is SC. 
The valency given by the Roman numerals is 4. Carbonate, we use page 8. The formula is CO3. We need to remember to keep a bracket around that. It's got a valence of 2. Swap the valences over. Highest number both can be divided by. To keep it a whole number is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the chemical formula this time is SC. How many have we got? We've got 1, but we don't write 1s. Bracket, CO3, close bracket. How many of those have we got? We've got 2. It's the same steps for the ionic formula, except we have to remember to make a sandwich and wrap it up. Symbol for scandium, SC, valency 4. Carbonate, CO3, valency 2. Scandium will form a positive ion and the carbonate a negative ion. 4 times positive equals 4 positive. We must keep it in a bracket. 2 times negative, 2 negative. We must keep it in a bracket. Swap the valences over. Highest number they can be divided by again is 2. So this time the ionic formula is bracket SC4 plus, close bracket, bracket CO3 2 minus, close bracket, with the 2 outside of the bracket. As there is only one type of scandium ion, we can get rid of the brackets around that particular one. Here are eight examples of transition metal compounds that you can have a go at writing the chemical and ionic formula for. These all end in eight, so they only contain two elements and you can use your data booklet to help you. So if you want to pause the video, you can have a go and when you're ready to resume, press play and the answers will pop up on the screen. <laughs> To work through three past paper questions which want us to write either the chemical or the ionic formula for transition metal compounds so if you want to go ahead and have a go yourself you can pause the video before i start going through the explanation and then you can resume the video to check your answers this first question is from the intermediate 2 2000 past paper written 5b some modern toothpastes contain tin 2 fluoride. Write the formula for tin 2 fluoride. The question only asks for the formula, so I'm going to be working out the chemical formula. The compound ends in ide. The D stands for double, which means it only contains two elements. I start off with my SVSDF. The chemical symbol for tin is SN, and the valence is 2 which is given as the Roman numerals in the formula. The symbol for fluorine is F. It's found in group 7, valence of 1. Swap the valences over. Highest number both can be divided by to keep it a whole number is 1. So the chemical formula is SNF2. This past paper question is from the intermediate 2, 2003 past paper, written question 13c. Stainless steel is a type of steel which does not need protection. It contains chromium, which forms an outer layer of chromium-3 oxide. Write the formula for chromium-3 oxide. The question only asks for the formula, so we're going to be working out the chemical formula. And the compound ends in ide. The D stands for double, which means we're only working with two elements, which can be found in the periodic table. We start off with our SVSDF. The symbol for chromium is CR, and it's got a valence of 3. Oxygen, the symbol is O. It's found in group 6, valency 2. Swap the valences over. Highest number both can be divided by to keep it a whole number is 1. So the chemical formula is CR2 
O3. This question is from the National 5 2015 paper written 6B. This type of question is a close reading question. You need to read the passage and then answer the questions that follow. The question asks, write the ionic formula for the iron compound used in CDCL. After reading the text, we can identify the name of the compound as iron 3 oxide. The question wants us to work out the ionic formula, so we must show the charges. We start with our SVSDF, symbol Fe, valence 3, oxygen O, valence 2. Metals always lose electrons to form positive ions and non-metals always gain electrons to form negative ions. 3 times positive is 3 positive. We must keep the Fe3 plus in a bracket. 2 times negative gives 2 negative and pop it in a bracket. Swap the valences over. Highest number both can be divided by is 1 which means the ionic formula is bracket Fe3 plus, close bracket, twice, bracket O2 minus, close bracket, three. The double check here is to make sure that we have the same number of positives that we do negatives. We've got a three plus for the iron inside the bracket, but we've got two of those. That's a total of six plus. We've got a two negative inside the bracket for oxygen, but we've got three of those, which is six negative. Six positive, six negative, they cancel each other out. 